north. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is pretty funny. This is entertaining. All right. So this is now. So now it's something. <laughs> this is this is due north, right there. That's oh. due north. That's your due back, north. Seth. Just thought you might want to know. <laughs> That's due south. <laughs> I'm heading south right now. I'm headed to you, Adam. You certainly are headed south, mate. I just had my drink. I'm good to go, guys. Is Perfect. Michael back? Yeah. No, I'm not here. <laughs> right. Am I straight? I don't. I don't see myself. So I don't know. I don't know, I'm mate. Straight. That's only you can answer that. That is the right way round. Yeah. For me to look at the watch, correct? Correct. Okay, so oh. if I show it to the camera. Are you you having a little? No, it's upside down. Look, the twelve's at the bottom. Yeah, because you've got your wrist upside down, you Wally. Well, it won't go any other way because it's on this side of my body. So, guys, welcome today to a very special video. We have Seth from Essential Watches. Let me start that again. Just, hold on. Are you? Okay? How did Seth pop on the screen? I think he he just like sneezed or made a noise and then got don't on it. Don't be making noises and don't be doing. I didn't make any noise for the for the record. Okay, it was magic. Like Total magic. <laughs> Are we ready? Hello? Yeah, ah, I'm, ready. I'm back. I'm back again. We are here today doing a Zoom call with Seth from Essential Watches. And um, since, you know, this coronavirus is stopping us doing actual videos, we figured a great way to do it would be a Zoom call. So there's Adam, Seth, and myself. And Seth... Obviously, business isn't the same as it normally would be because he hasn't got the walk-ins. He's got a ton of watches that he felt that uh, would be a great idea to do some blowouts with. So, Seth, welcome to us. Hi. Hey, guys. How you doing? How you what? How you doing? <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> yeah, you mentioned earlier you had a drink, but how many was that? Was it one, two, three, half four, five? Shot. It was a half a shot to loosen me up for this uh, blowout sale that I want to do. Okay, should we start that again? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think Adam's going to have a lot of fun editing this one. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hi, guys. We are on another Zoom call today, and this time we have Seth from Essential Watches and, uh, of course, Adam. We've got a special episode today because Seth is actually going to be selling some watches, a bunch of watches. I don't know how many exactly, but a bunch at a massively discounted rate because obviously there's no walking traffic anymore and uh, business is lower than it normally would be. So, Seth, what have you got for us? Say hi. Hey, guys. How's everybody? It's nice to be joining you on another video. I wish we were face-to-face -face in my shop, but I guess this is what we've got to do during coronavirus. Well, it's great to have you. I see a ton of watches behind you. Um, yeah. Firstly, tell us a little bit about what's actually gone on in the watch market. How's this affecting your business and uh, why are you going to blow some of these watches out? All right. It's a good question. So what's happening right now is very similar to what happened in 2008 during the real estate slowdown. Uh, you know, every, people need money. Stocks are going down and there are watches coming onto the market and they are selling for less and less. Now, it doesn't mean that bottom has fallen out of the market. Actually, the fact that the factories in Switzerland have shops, excuse me, have stopped shipping merchandise, the prices have somewhat stabilized. They've gone down, but they haven't collapsed. So that's what's going down, especially when it comes to brand new models, uh, never worn models, the prices are pretty much still strong, but the pre-owned market is going down. The pre-owned market for watches that we're selling for over retail has come down. Off-brand watches are tough sellers right now. The only things that we're still selling really, uh, for the most part, are the staple brands, Rolex, Paddock, Audemars, and Richard Mille. So what have you got for us today and what type of discounts are you able to offer everybody? All right. So Mike, when you called me and asked me if I had any deals, I said, yes, absolutely. So I've got uh, a decent but amount before of you, Before you go on, I'm going to interrupt you. What, everybody's going to want to know why I called you and asked you if you had any deals. 
uh, I was being selfish and asking for myself. <laughs> and then he broke into, well, actually, I've got a bunch of deals, and that's why we're doing this right now. And then we got the idea just to make it a video about selling some watches at good prices. So uh, I pulled out some watches that have been sitting in my safe for a little bit too long, some Rolex, some Panerai, Hublot's, uh, Cartier, uh, Gerard Perigo, you know, just some random watches I thought maybe I'd just blow out for your for your fans. Well, we'd love to see some. So uh, let's start. Do you want to start like in the middle, in a random order, or you want to go brand by brand? How do you want to do you this? You know what? I mean, we've never done anything like this. Uh, let me just also stipulate that today is Friday, and this video is going to be showing on Tuesday. That means first come, first serve, whoever is watching this video first on Tuesday if you are the first person to contact us and call our sales team and want to buy any of these watches, these watches are yours. Um, so let, me, let, me just, let me just say something there. Um, I don't mean to interrupt, but I, I need to let you know. So this video will actually go live at midnight Pacific time on Tuesday. So Monday well, midnight. Well, what, what day is that? What, just so we're clear. What day is that? May what? Tuesday. May. Tuesday. Oh, the date. Oh, I have no May. idea. Um, I don't even know what day it is today. You said Friday. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> today's, May, today's May 8th, and that means that these May are May 12th. Uh, on the 12th, is that right? <laughs> if I'm doing my math correctly. <laughs> well, between the three of us, we figure it out. But thank you, Adam. So May 12th. May 12th. All right. Bright and so early, midnight. It will. Go ahead. Sorry. No, I was saying bright and early, uh, Tuesday morning, midnight time here, May 12th it will go live and I'm recommending that maybe you have somebody on phones all the way from midnight onwards. I know it's going to be crazy times, but you're going to get a lot of calls, uh, especially because I already know some of the prices you're blowing these, these watches out for and yeah. you're going to get a lot of calls. So you might have a late night or no night at all. Stay up and we'll flash the telephone number. You, you, up you know what? I have, a whole, I have a whole sales team in place, but you know what? I'm going to actually be manning the phone starting at midnight. So if you call starting at 1201, you're going to be dealing directly with me, not with my sales team. That's fantastic. Adam, can you flash the number on the screen multiple times throughout the video so that uh, you know people can see they don't have to log off because they can watch the watches go by? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'll, I'll put it right here. So if you want to call Seth, then this is the number. All right, this is, going to, this is going to be fun. I'm really going to do my best to price these watches to sell. I really am. I want to actually sell, I don't know, a good 80, 90% of the watches I'm about ready to showcase. So I really hope that everyone appreciates that these are better than normal coronavirus prices that I'm going to advertise, that I'm going to offer these watches for. Um, how many watches approximately do you have? I pulled about 40 watches to, to kind of blow out. Amazing. Well, let's go. Let's see what you've got. All right. Um, here we go. So um, let me just start with some Rolex models. Okay, we're going to do the most popular brand first. So the first watch that I've got is a 41 millimeter Datejust. Can you see that okay? Very this clearly, is, yeah, it looks this, great. This is reference 126300. This watch is normally pre-owned something like 7,000, 7,200. It's got the black, yeah, black stick dial. Uh, this is $6,000. So when you say $6,000, that would be $1,000 less than you would normally sell it for and your prices are already great. Am I correct in saying that? Yeah, I like to say my prices are competitive and at $6,000, I believe this is more like a wholesale price and I only have one of these. Oh, let me just also uh, stipulate that all the prices that I'm quoting your client, uh, your, your fans, Michael, uh, this is with a check or a wire transfer. If you're paying with credit card, add two and a half percent and you have to add on sales tax as well. These, they change the sales tax laws. We have to charge sales tax for all of our sales. So there's sales tax on everything. So just to just to uh, go over that a second. So regardless of whether it's wire or whatever other form of payment, credit card, sales tax does apply. If it's yes, the United exactly States. right. Yeah. Okay. And they, they, they changed the sales tax laws. We used to be able to ship everything out of state, no tax. Now we've got to collect tax from all 50 states. Oh, actually, there's like three states, three or four states that actually still don't collect sales tax. I think um, 
Washington and Delaware and two other ones don't, uh, we don't have to charge tax, but almost every single state we got to charge sales tax these days. Sad, but uh, understandable. Yeah. Let's see your next pieces. <laughs> the states are broke. They need money. All right. That's the first piece. $6,000. Again, another 41 millimeter date just. This is reference 116334. A watch that normally sells for 85, 88. Today's price, 78. This is the slate diamond dial version of the watch. And, and just so everybody knows, you're talking here about factory diamond dial. It's not aftermarket, correct? 100%. Oh, and by the way, um, if a watch comes with the papers, I will stipulate it has the papers. If it doesn't have papers, just assume that it's box only, no papers, meaning no certificate. Just watch and Rolex box. And I have another question to ask you. Um, these watches that you're selling at blowout prices, do they have a warranty? Are they guaranteed? So how does that work? Excellent question. Everything I sell, I stand behind for one year. So any issues at all with the watch, we fix it for free for one year. Okay, cool. Next one. Let's see what you got. All right. Let's just keep on moving. Here we go. Uh, next one is a Gerard Perigo. This is a rose gold world time chronograph. It's something that normally I'd be asking 12.5, 11.5. I'll sell this watch for $9,000. What's the original list of that watch? I think this watch was something like 27.5. Gorgeous read. watch, 44 millimeter automatic, see through back, deployment class. Very cool. This is a similar watch to the one you bought uh, a, a little over a year ago on a bracelet. This is a watch on a leather strap. Cool Beautiful watch. Beautiful piece. Beautiful piece. Okay, yeah, next heavy, one. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Here we go. All right, next one. Rolex. Two tone Daytona with a champagne mother of pearl dial. This is something that normally I'd sell for $14,500. I would sell this watch for $12,000. That's cheap. a that's a cheap Daytona. That cheap. really is a cheap Daytona. Are you kind of making these numbers up as you go along, or how you? No, gonna... I'm I'm looking. I got a tag right here. I'm looking at the tag, and uh, I mean, I'm not making money on these prices. I'm just trying to sell things right now. This are dial. You are you losing money, or are you you breaking even? How's it okay, working? So so I'll be honest with you. Some of them I will lose money on. Some of them I will break even. I'm not making a profit on anything right now at this point. That's amazing. It's a beautiful watch. Yeah. yeah. $12,000 is, trust me, cheap. Just try to find this watch anywhere. Oh, by the way, uh, so some of the watches, I'm actually going to read off the item ID off my website. This is 92659. If you call up, reference 92659, $12,000, I'll sell it. Michael, are you uh, are you tempted to get yourself a little little watch, mate? I, I, I definitely am considering it. I want to see what's coming. Uh, yeah, I'll well, let you know when I've seen everything because, you know, yeah. I, I, I may buy one, you know, just one. But I want to see what one? you've got. How about this one, Mike? Is that for you? <laughs> it may be if the price is right. I know you have this watch. You have this watch on bracelet. I'm just teasing. This on I know, but right. if the price is right, I'll have two of them. Okay. Well, if any of them, if you want to buy anything, Mike, you just say sold and uh, it won't be available to anyone else. All right. Next watch. This is a 1990s 36 millimeter Datejust. It's got an aftermarket diamond bezel. It's got the oyster bracelet, white Roman dial. Uh, normally, this is sixty-five hundred. Today's price is forty-five hundred dollars. That is a bargain. I know. I, I don't want that for me, but that is a bargain. Forty-five hundred bucks with the diamond bezel. With the aftermarket diamond bezel, correct. All right. Here is the 41 millimeter. The, this is the newest style Datejust, two-tone Datejust with the fluted bezel, Jubilee bracelet. This is what they call the Wimbledon dial. This is the newest reference number, 126333, $10,000. Normally, this is about 11000 This is 10000 Hot, so hot watch with this dial. What does that watch uh, list for if you were to go to Rolex and buy it? Um, I think it's 13,000 brand new to be honest. I, I, I have to double check 13, 14,000, the retail. I don't have it written down, but I'm pretty sure. Good watch. 
Great buy. Especially, Great buy. Especially with this style. You see why they call it the Wimbledon? Does it have tennis rackets on it? No, it's got the, the colors. The colors are like a Wimbledon. It's color. the Wimbledon it's green. Wimbledon green, yeah. Uh, uh, That's really nice. Right. Yeah, let's pretty. Keep, let's, let's keep going. All right, next watch I've got is a this is the original 40 millimeter Yachtmaster two-tone with the white dial. This watch actually does have the original papers with it. I'll sell this watch for 7,600. Usually these are about 8,500. Very nice piece. Moving right along. Let's see what else I got. Rolex. What am I going to see? All right, here we go. Oh, this is a cute watch. This is the new style 36 millimeter Datejust, but it's got kind of a feminine dial. It's got the pink floral dial. This watch does have all the box and papers, $4,500, normally $5,500. I didn't realize look, Rolex made watches that look like that. Yeah, this is a perfect watch for your wife or girlfriend. So I have, I have a question for you. If somebody sees a watch that they like, a Rolex, uh, but they don't like the color of the dial, can you change the dial out? Because I know I've done that with certain Rolexes in the past. Yeah, uh, yeah. Anything's possible. It depends on if we have the dial or not. Sometimes we have to chase down the dial. But yes, that's the good thing about Rolex is they're totally customizable, so you can easily pop out the dial and change the whole personality of the watch. Awesome. Next All one. Right. Next one. I'm having fun here. Yeah, this is good. All right, here's a Milgauss. This is the blue dial, green crystal version. So this is they when they first came out they were black dial green crystal. Oh, we lost you for a second there, Seth. Uh -oh. It did say Seth on the screen, so we know it's you. But <laughs> there's, oh, there you are. Uh, it's, it says we're low down, low on battery, but it's not charging right now. Not really. We should get another charger, right? We're going back and try. We're going to try and get another charger going. So this is originally they came out with the black dial green crystal at the top of the market. Seriously, going back, I think over 10 years when that watch first came out that watch was literally selling for like 15 17 thousand dollars they've come down a lot but right now i would sell this watch this is the newest version blue dial green crystal 6600 and, and what were you asking for that watch just a few weeks ago uh eight thousand sounds like a good deal yeah well listen i mean People are smart. They're going to Google these watches. They're going to go on to different websites. They're going to know if this is a good deal or not. I'm pretty sure that once your fans actually start Googling it and figure out what my competitors are selling these watches for, they're going to see that these watches are all priced very, very competitively. Price to sell right now. Seriously. Awesome. All right. Keep going. So, keep going. Uh, all right. Let's keep on going. All right. Panerai. Now so we're talking. Now, now you're talking and my language, Seth. Yeah, I know, I know. This is the PAM 299. Uh, so this is item ID 20215. I was asking 6000 for this watch. I will sell this today for 4500 bucks. That is cheap. That is really cheap. Don't be mad, There's... Adam, because your watch just went down, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not mine. Mine's got the power reserve. That's true. Correct. That's true. Correct, 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 correct. All right, here's another one. Let me just get this open. Sorry, I wasn't prepared. Here it is. So this is part of the 1940s Radomir collection. I forget the exact reference number of this watch. Um, it's item ID 48615. It's a base movement, meaning it's it's uh, mechanical. I was asking 5,000. I would sell this watch for 4,000. By the way, how does the watch look in the camera right now? Does it look correct? Well, if, if you hold it still, it's great. When you move it, it goes a little bit out of focus and comes back in focus. And I know it's very difficult to do, but you're doing a great do job. My best. It looks great. Right. But yeah, that is the right it's way around, Seth. It's the right way around? It is. Yeah, yeah. It looks perfect. Because somebody, somebody not mentioning any names, let me do this right now. Hold on. I'm taking my watch off. Michael, don't forget I was recording this when you did it the first time around. Oh, my word. That means it's going to appear. Okay. So uh, to yeah, me, but... if I hold my watch up right now, this one... Uh, and correct me if I'm wrong. Did I buy this from you, Seth? Which one is? I don't even see it. I can't see it. Oh, it's a gold Submariner with a blue dial and blue bezel. No, not for me. Oh, sorry. Oops. Close your ears. I didn't buy it from <laughs> anyway. No, that was but, your but, other girlfriend. Yeah, I guess so, right? 
<laughs> so my, my point is I'm looking at my own screen here and to me this is upside down. So I would put it that way and it looks the right way around to me, but I'm sure that's upside down now. Yeah. By the way, Michael, I saw the, the one of the last videos you did where you're showing off your watch collection and I was tickled that a bunch of those watches you actually did acquire from me. Thank you. I'm delighted. Well, you've always taken amazing care of me. You've always given a good deal. Uh, yeah. Another thing about Seth, the after service is amazing. If there's ever an issue with a watch or it needs something, he just takes care of it. And it's, it's amazing. It really is. So, obviously, uh, obviously, we try to sell them without any issues. We don't want people to have problems with their watches. But yeah, if there is an issue, we take care of it right away. I, my, my point is, I bought so many watches from you. There's, in fact, I don't think I've ever had an issue. I might have wanted an extra link or some things like that, but you've always been great. The fun one. <laughs> this is live tv ladies and gentlemen yeah, right? well welcome to the show they're trying to figure out whether or not they can get an iphone charger or an ipad charger i think hmm. you don't have an ipad charger what are we at three i guess we're losing but let's just uh, uh -oh. we're, we're down to 10, so they might have an ipad no 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 sure? let's just, let's just how do you how do you normally charge your ipad and your iphone you want to know the whole story of what happened here? <laughs> well, I, don't know I, I think we do. All right, let's keep on going. How's that? All right. I have a Breitling. This is a, one of the Bentleys. This watch retails for almost $14,000. I was asking $8,000 for this watch. <laughs> this is a blowout. $4,000. Box papers. Just trying to get rid of it. That is very, very cheap. Wow. It's four like grand. 46, 47 millimeters, has all the box and papers, four grand. Somebody buy it. That's item ID 86827. Next, IWC. This is called the Yacht Club. Retails for, oh, I forget. I think this is like 12,000 retail. I was asking 7,500, 5,500. Box and papers, totally complete. Keep going, keep going before your battery runs out. All right, this is another IWC. This is the new Ingenieur chronograph. Again, retail is like eight, nine thousand dollars. I was asking fifty five hundred dollars for this watch. I'll sell this watch for four thousand dollars, complete with box and papers. That's a good looking Actually, watch. I like that. This watch is actually brand new. It's not even new. It's got all the stickers, everything on it. It's a white dial, gold asterisk, gold accents. Nice watch. I can see you, Adam, wearing that. Yeah, I, I do like that. It's, it's nice and kind of classy, but it's still big. What size is it, Seth? Uh, this watch, I believe, is like a 42 millimeter. Either 41 or 42. No, I really like that. Hmm. Yeah. Put that cool. one aside. Okay, you got it. All right, here's another IWC. This is a pilot's watch with the ruthenium dial. This watch was something I was asking with box and papers, 4,500. I will sell this for 3,200. Item ID 69120, complete, perfect condition box and papers for $3,200. That's a great watch. I used to own one of those watches. I don't have it anymore, but uh, when I used to go flying, really? I would wear that watch, yeah. You own an IWC? Yeah, when I was flying. When I, well, it was a long time ago. When oh. I was learning to fly, should I say, um, you have to keep... The, I'm not going to bother with this stuff. Your battery's going flat. Keep going. Screen. All right. Here's a watch for the ladies. This is the big size. Wait. Uh -oh. I lost you. There we go. You're back. Okay, we're back. This is a ladies' watch. It's the largest size Demoiselle. This is the model that took over from the Panther. And I would sell this watch for $2,300. That's the Cartier watch, correct? Yeah. In Cartier, I think this is like minimum five grand. This watch is perfect. There's not a scratch on it. That's That'll a sell great fast. deal. 2300 bucks for a Cartier watch. Great deal. $2,300. Okay. Another, uh, okay. This is a, another IWC. This is a Rotroponte, otherwise known as the Doppel Chronograph. As all the box and papers, I was asking seven thousand dollars for this watch. I will sell this watch for five thousand dollars. Cheap, box and papers. 
Sounds like another great deal. Adam, that's uh, what you, I'd see you wearing too. Yeah, All I right. definitely. I really like that. Oh, this is a very nice Rolex. Okay, this is the new Yachtmaster 2 stainless steel and rose gold, the blue ceramic bezel. These watches were bringing $20,000. Uh, this one does not have the card, but I will sell it for $17,000, which should be a very competitive price if you look online. Nice big watch, 44 millimeter. Very pretty watch. Very pretty watch. Oh, another this IWC. Okay. This is something you don't see every day. Only 250 pieces made. This is the big pilot in rose gold. It's called the annual calendar, St. Exupery limited edition blue dial i've sold these watches for twenty six thousand dollars i'm asking twenty four five for this normally twenty thousand dollars i'll sell this watch has all the box and papers nice. how big is the case how big is the 44. case on that? It's a oh, big this is, watch. Sorry, sorry. this is it no i'm sorry this is bigger this is 46 and it's That's got a, a really huge... nice folding buckle see-through back you can't even find this watch. I challenge anyone to find one on the market anywhere in the world for less than twenty thousand dollars. You're not going to find it. Blue dial, gorgeous watch, complete box and papers. All right, look at this thing. That's a Panerai. What is that? <laughs> this is a compass. Hands. This is a compass. Panerai actually made a compass instead of a watch. It's called the PAM 191. Uh, limited edition going back from 10 years ago. I forget how many pieces they made, but for sure it's something like 500 watches. Um, I would sell this for $5,500. has box, papers, everything. It's a brand new watch. The guy never not, guy never used it. Can't, it's not for everybody, but if you're- You can't really call person, it a watch, can you, if it doesn't sell the no, time? It's not really a watch, technically speaking. <laughs> For Panerai collectors, this is kind of a grail. $5,500. That thing is wild. Can you take the leather strap off that and like put it on a bracelet, or does that leather have to stay underneath? No. If, if you found a bracelet that had the correct measurements between the lugs, which is probably 24 millimeters, yes, you could put this on a bracelet. I, I was so, thinking more that you could take the bracelet off completely and mount it in a building and call it Big Ben. <laughs> right. <laughs> Put it on the front of your boat. Yeah, right. Good idea. Good idea. Okay. We're about halfway done. Let's keep on going. Next watch, a uh, little uh, Gerard Perigo. I've had this for too long. I was asking, to be honest with you, I was asking too much money. I was asking $5,000 for this watch. I'll sell this watch for $3,500. This is called the Richville. And this complication is a power reserve. I think it's got a, a second time zone and a power reserve automatic movement. $3,500. Um, how many percent? Oh, We're only at 1%. <laughs> uh, bleep. <laughs> you, you, you seriously don't have a charger? Just go see. The, I don't know. We've, we've plugged in the charger. Riley's going to try and see if it's Oh, is it because it's an iPad Pro and it needs it takes more power than a regular iPad? Yeah. No, I, I have an iPad Pro and I and, and the regular iPhones and they all plug in the same thing. It, it should okay. work. I don't know what's going on, but listen, um, if we go dead, I guess we'll just have to recharge and we'll continue our meeting. So it won't be the end of the world. But this is a C timer, Pasha, Frograph. I was asking forty five hundred for this watch. I will sell this watch. For thirty-two hundred dollars, this is item ID one nine seven eight zero. This is a big watch, heavy watch, nice watch. It's got oh, a watch. It didn't, didn't have a watch at all, then, right? That was uh, that was we'll pretty drastic. That yeah, yeah. All right, I'm good. Um, oh, here's a cheapie. Uh, Tag Heuer Grand Carrera. Uh, these are actually expensive in the store. I sell this watch for eighteen hundred bucks. Just want to get, get rid of it. I think this is like literally like a six or seven thousand dollar watch retail it's got the brown dial no box or papers seventeen hundred dollars i'll sell it seth what's the cheapest watch you have that you're selling right now the absolute cheapest watch there um uh i think that was it to be honest with you yeah that was it that was the cheapest watch i've got for today 
I was going to say this is a very good time for him to run out of battery when you ask him that question, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, here's another you Zenith open work, El Primero. This watch has a box, no papers. I'll sell this for $3,400. Close to, I think it's 10000 retail. Normally I'm asking five grand for this watch. Item ID 98124. $3,400. I'm losing money at that price. Oh, all right. Here's a nice little classic Jaeger LaCultra Master Control Automatic. This is something I was asking $4,600. i will sell for three grand. Item ID 11534. Nice. Just Keep going. Basic watch. Okay. Um, <clears throat> oh, another ladies' watch. Cartier Balloon Blue. It's the, this is the biggest one, the 42 millimeter size. I was asking 4,500. This has everything, box and papers. I'll sell this for 3,500. Let's make it 3,300 dollars. 3,300 dollars for a 42 millimeter Balloon Blue. That's a that's a man's watch, right? Well, it's a men's size, but mostly it's women that are buying these watches. I'll be honest with you. Most men don't like this watch. This is more appreciated by women. But I, man, I know a lot of guys that have got that watch, actually. They'll be very unhappy uh, to hear that. No disrespect to all the guys wearing this watch, but I would never try to push this on a man. It, it, to me, this is not very masculine, personally. I don't think so. This is more for a woman that wants an oversized watch. All right. Oh, Breitling with diamonds. This is all original diamonds. Uh, this is the Chronomaster 40 millimeter. I was, this watch retails for close to $15,000. I was asking 6,800. I will sell this for 5,500. Item ID 25356. It's a mother of pearl dial. Next is a Ulysses Nardine. This is the Maxi Marine Chronograph. Uh oh. I think we we'll just lost Seth. There he goes. He needs to recharge his batteries. I, I don't understand how that happens. If he's got a charger and he can't charge it, I don't get it. Yeah, no, I don't. That doesn't make sense either. But maybe he can call us back from his regular phone. It, can you imagine the swear words that he's coming out with right now? I can only imagine. <laughs> I, I, I'm imagining more. I'm imagining. Ka -ding, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> so for you guys at home, Seth is so like when we go in, he's like, okay, I just want to make sure that everything looks good. And we're like, Seth. It'll all be fine, mate. And he's like, okay, I trust you. So I bet you he's panicking now. So what we're going to do, I guess, is um, let's just cut this, get him back. Oh, there he is. Okay, yeah, talk he's, to him. He's just he calling. Let, let's see what he says. Hey, buddy, did you run out of battery? Uh, so, so we're trying to, yeah, we just ran out of battery. We're trying to, we're, she's, she just found something else to try to charge this thing and see, see if it works. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't. I loaned the iPad to somebody. <laughs> That's fine, mate. That's fine. Just, uh, yeah, plug it in and see how you get on. Worst case scenario, call us back from your phone and we'll just do it on the phone instead. Oh, it's not a bad idea. It, it is showing charging? Yeah. All right, so, so go, to, go to Zoom. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> tell yeah. tell Seth, uh, yeah, I, I, I know some guys that work at right. NASA. Right. Maybe I can make a call and help him out. <laughs> Michael said he can pull in some uh, contacts he knows at NASA if you need a hand. Where do you see the shop? We see the shop. <laughs> we are back in business, guys. Seth's voice changed a little bit. I don't know if anybody noticed, but uh, he didn't sound quite himself. <laughs> I'm right here. Hello. Ah. All right. Sorry Welcome back. <laughs> that look good, Adam? Camera-wise? I'm. Uh, yeah, I was, I'm glad you clarified camera-wise. Camera looks great. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, question to you Seth did you manage to have a topple in between a <laughs> topple what's a topple <laughs> have you had a topple <laughs> I need I one I think I plead the fifth I plead the fifth okay how far through are we we're about halfway through we got a lot to go no no no, no. no we're, we're, we're like 80% um, through cool let's go alright All right. so um, here we go you guys ready no, one. no, no, not ready, not ready, not ready. Okay, yeah. now we're ready. Good. Okay, very good. Thanks, Mike. All right, the next watch that I want to blow out is a Corum Bubble. It's got 
this bluish case. I don't know if this is um, uh, like a PVD steel or if it's a, I don't think it's a ceramic, but this is the Steve Aoki limited edition. He's that very famous Asian uh, DJ. So he came out with a limited edition watch. They only made how many? Uh, I think it's a thousand pieces. Uh, the retail price of this watch is completely sold out. The retail price was thirty five hundred. No, I'm sorry, it was forty five hundred. I was asking thirty five hundred. I will sell this watch complete, brand new, two thousand dollars. It's item ID nine seven seven nine six. So from thirty five hundred dollars to two thousand dollars. Just trying to get rid of it. Cool little watch if you're a Corm fan, or if you're a Steve Aoki fan. Watch. Or if you're a Steve Aoki fan, exactly. All right, um, I've got another Panerai right here. This is a big 47 millimeter mechanical. Uh, again, this is the uh, Radomir 1940s with the submarine in the bottom. I was asking, this is Pam 577. I was asking 6,900. This has all the box and papers. I will sell this watch for $5,500. Complete, box and papers. $5,500. I what really like that. What was the original retail on that watch, Seth? Uh, you know what? I'm actually not sure. But um, I can I can uh, estimate it was around eight nine $9,000. And I've got everything for the watch. Box papers, everything. All right. Next one. Oh, here's another cheap watch. I told you the other one was my cheapest. I forgot. This is actually the cheapest watch. This is a Oris. This is their Williams F1 limited edition. It's got a black and blue dial, blue ceramic, blue bezel, automatic movement. I've got all the box and papers. This watch is in next to new condition. I was asking 1800, I think it retails for 4,500, thousand bucks. I just wanna get rid of this thing. This is not normally a brand that I sell, thousand dollars, cheap. That's very cheap. That is really, really cheap. That's nice for um, a Formula One fan. Yeah, right. Williams. Yeah, Williams don't do so well though in Formula One, do they? <laughs> is that what it is? I didn't even know. I didn't even know what that was. I had no well, idea. Well, they're, they're they're not like a, a Petronas or a Ferrari. That's for sure. Oh, you're right. Williams F1. You're you're Adam. Good job. You know your stuff. Good job. Okay, here is a Hublot. Um, this was the, some, I think it's the, called the Italia Independent Limited Edition. It's got a very cool strap. Can you see this? It's got ridges on the strap. It's, it's got a gray carbon fiber case and bezel. It's got all the box and papers. The watch is basically in new condition. I was asking 14000 for this watch. It retails, I believe, in the $25,000 range. $10,000. I'll get rid of it. Ten grand for a brand new watch complete with box and papers. I'm losing money at that price. That's an Adam uh, watch if ever ever I saw a watch. Yeah. You are it, absolutely it, correct. That is an Adam watch. Italia limited edition. It's got the see-through back. I don't know if you can see that. This thing, I've had it for about a year. Just want to get rid of it. Someone take it. 10 grand. All right. Next is another Hublot. This is the King Power. These retail, okay, so this I was asking a lot of money. I was asking over 20000 for this watch with box and papers. I'm um, sorry, I'm just thinking how much I want to sell. Well, while, you, while you're thinking, I was just going to say, I feel like I'm on the home shopping network. <laughs> this is pretty funny. <laughs> and, and it's funny you say that because when I was thinking about visualizing myself doing this video with you, I was thinking that I'm going to come off like one of these guys on TV. So well, you're doing a perfect <laughs> job of it. I mean, that's exactly how you're coming up. I didn't, ha I didn't have a clue what you were going to say, but uh, this is fun. Yeah. Steak knives, gold coins, bullion. I got watches. I got watches. All right. I'll sell this watch for $11,000. <laughs> this is item ID 19396. 11,000 box papers has like, white ceramic in the middle black ceramic rubber bezel on the top 11 grand box papers love the strap on that that's a really really nice strap it is kind of cool look it's got the white it's like a rubberized white on the outside white on the inside 
and black going down the center. All right, I'm down to my last seven watches, eight watches. Uh, another Hublot. This is called a, uh, Aerobang, 44 millimeters in black ceramic. This watch, I have actually the original certificate, the card. I don't have a box for it. It's item ID 95930. I was asking 8,800 for this watch, $6,000. It's in That's perfect another condition. That's Adam watch there, right there. I mean, typically you can't really buy Hublot Big Bangs for less than eight. I want to sell it. $6,000, please. Someone take advantage. This should sell pretty quick. That's cheap. All right. Uh, I'll wait, wait. I have a question. I'm waiting for something for me coming. You got something fun for me, please? Jeez. No, I, I don't have, like, this is the only type of Michael Blakey watch I really have for sale today, Mike. I'm sorry. Well, I, I got, if you I, make the price attractive enough, you never know. It might be a customer. I, I like that watch. Let's talk off camera. How's that? Deal. Um, yeah. You know, I, I wanted actually to not be like some of these other guys that you've done videos with that are selling the hundred and two hundred thousand dollar watches that are out of reach for most people including myself i would never wear personally a two hundred thousand dollar watch i wanted to sell stuff all sub ten fifteen thousand dollars so that's that's i pulled those watch out purposely all right next watch another very similar watch the last watch another black aerobang hublot um for this watch again i'll sell this it's a little bit more i need i have box and papers for this one. This one I'll do for 7,000. 22,000 retail, item ID 20709. This is just the regular all black Aerobank. Nice watch in perfect condition. All right, I'm down to my last five watches. Here we go. Jaeger LeCoultre. This is a master series with box and manual. I was asking 5200 for this watch. I'll sell for four grand. It's got a box. Oh, this is called the Ultra Thin. That's right. That's what I wanted to tell you. See how thin that thing is? Can you see it good? Yeah, that's a, that's a great watch. It's not my type of watch, but somebody that especially no. loves a brand, that's a fantastic watch and a great this deal. Is for the, this is for the guy that wants a ultra, ultra simple, plain dress watch that's thin. What was the original retail that. of that watch, Seth? I'm guessing something close to nine, ten thousand dollars $10,000. i will sell it. what I say? How much did I say? I forgot. Like right, $400, you know I'll take it. Bye. I'm a buyer. Four grand. I'll sell oh, it. Ah. <laughs> Whatever I said, it's 4000 Automatic movement. Okay. All right. Another watch. Uh, another Gerard Perigo. This is the Seahawk, the smaller size. This was a limited edition for BMW Oracle race. And I was asking 3,500 for this watch. I'll sell for two grand. This has a box, no card. Item ID on this is 35604, $2,000. Should be cheap enough for somebody that wants it. The watch is in perfect, perfect shape. This is and not that is a great, great watch. I used to have, I don't have it anymore. I sold it. I used to have the Turbion version of that. And really? Yeah. And I actually dropped it from quite a height and I dropped it onto a tile floor. And I was like, oh, no. Uh, no damage at all. No damage at all. And a Turbion. So if a Turbion didn't get damaged, I can only say that that thing there is probably bulletproof. Good point. All right. I just want to say this is the smaller size of the Seahawk. They do make one size bigger. This is the 40 millimeter size. All right, three more. Another Panerai, beautiful, beautiful dress watch. This is a rose gold Radomir mechanical. This is called Pam uh, 515. This is unfortunately no box or papers. I was asking 14,000. I will sell this for $9,000. The watch I believe retailed Oh, shoot. I don't have it written, but uh, this is something close to $20,000, if not more, retail price on this Panerai. It's got the date. It's got sub-seconds at 9 o'clock. 
$9,000. Someone's got to buy this watch. This is going to get sold fast, I believe. Yeah, I'm 515. That sounds like a great deal. I have a question to ask you because uh, many people are probably thinking box and papers, box, no papers, papers, no box. Explain before you go into the last few watches exactly what does it mean and how important is it to have the box, the box and papers or just the papers? What does that mean as far as the value of the watch? All right. Well, it's a good question. I get I get asked that question all the time. So obviously, when you buy a used watch, you want to buy it with the box and papers. That's the most ideal situation. So if you're going to buy a used watch with box and papers, you're paying that price. You're paying more for the watch because it's complete. Sometimes the way we acquire them, unfortunately, they don't come with all the box and papers. They're 100% authentic, but they don't always have all the original goodies with it. There's a million and one reasons why a consumer separated the watch from the box and papers that being said typically when a watch doesn't have the papers you can sort of like estimate that the value of the watch goes down by about 10 percent now on vintage watches like watches from like the 60s and the 70s especially when it comes to rolexes the papers could literally double or triple the value of the watch. That's vintage collectible Rolex. When we're talking about modern non-Rolex watches, non-collectible watches, the value of the papers is about 10%. Boxes typically are generic. So typically a box is worth two, $300. It's the papers that kind of bring up the price of the watch. That being said, what I'm doing right now is I'm pricing these watches with that taken into consideration. So if a watch is missing card, I'm already deducting $500,000 because it's missing the papers. I, and I have another question to add on to that. Yeah. Um, a lot of people may be concerned if there's no papers, how can they be sure that the watch was never stolen, that uh, it, it's 100% authentic, that it has no stories? Do you check them out before you buy them? How, how does that work? Well, well, let me just answer that question this way. First of all, I'm not the only guy selling watches in the world. There are a lot of people selling used watches in the world, right? So if you're a consumer and you're buying a used watch, you need to know who you're buying that watch from. If you're buying a watch from some guy in Russia, the watch has no certificate, and that watch gets shipped into the U.S., and it later is a stolen watch. Let's say that the police or the manufacturer confiscates that watch because it was came up on a stolen watch uh, database. You're out the money. There's no recourse. I'd like to see someone go to Russia and try to get their money back from, from, a, from a seller. If you're buying your watches from known legitimate watch dealers and the worst case scenario happens, somehow, it's only happened to me once in 20 years that a watch actually that I sold came back as a stolen watch. You get your money back. Any legitimate watch dealer will immediately give you your, your money back if that watch for some reason came up as a stolen watch. But when you're dealing with someone from out of the country that you can't trust, there's no recourse, you're out of luck. Well, thanks, really for, thanks for explaining that. That's, that's yeah. really good to know. Yeah, all, all, all consumers need to really think about that before they start trying to shop around the internet and find a better deal in Portugal or buy Portugal from some Portugal of all places. Portugal. Let's move yeah. on. What else you got? <laughs> all right. Uh, two more watches left. Both of them Panerized. This is a 40 millimeter Marina with date. Uh, this is the Pam 48. I believe this watch is naked. Maybe it has papers. I got to check. Uh, I would sell this watch for $3,000. Cheap. Someone take advantage of that. That's item ID 11254 for $3,000. It doesn't get cheaper than that. It's got a deployment buckle on it. This is a $500 upgrade on, on price, just having the deployment. And the last one I've got picked out is the Pam 590. This is a nice little watch. It's kind of like got a retro look to it. 
It's got all the box and papers. I would sell this watch for $3,500. I was asking $4,700. Item ID 61775, $3,500. Wow. And that's it. That's, well, you want to do a shot of all the watches? This that's has all been, the watches. This has been eye-opening, absolutely eye-opening. And uh, th there's some amazing deals there. So I'm sure a lot of people will be taking advantage of them. And thank you for showing those. Perhaps you could take some like close-ups and send them to Adam and he can then insert them into the video uh, a little bit. Sorry, Adam, I'm making your life a nightmare. Really? Really? Did you just throw me under the bus like that? I think I did. So if those videos don't show up in the video, videos don't show up in the video, it's his fault. Adam's fault. I mean, I, I've got to say, Seth, I thought you did a phenomenal job of showing those watches close up, and I'm sure the audience will agree. I think he's trying to say something here, don't you? He's trying to get out of it. Yeah, Seth, make sure you do some little close-ups of those watches. Yeah. And I'll, then... I'll give you a little close up, Mr. Blakey, if you don't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, everybody, for watching this. I hope uh, you saw something you like. And Seth, thanks for showing us these, these watches and offering them to uh, right. the audience and at so, such a low price. Just, just to reiterate, I'm going to stay up on Tuesday night and personally answer any phone calls that come in. Uh, my direct number is one three one zero six zero one. 7264. The toll free number is 87. Oh no, what happened? What a time to lose him, oh, right? No. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, just as a disclaimer, I remember we did a video with Yossi and he gave out his cell phone number. It was the worst thing he ever did. His phone never stopped ringing. So hold on, uh, he's call calling. Him. He's calling. Oh, he's calling. Uh... Mate, what happened? You were just about to give your phone number out. <laughs> Anyway. Well, listen. We've got you. We've got you on audio still. So, do you want to tell everybody uh, your number? Yeah. Okay. So the toll-free number is eight seven 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 five zero thirty nine forty. I'm here. I'm going to be answering phone calls starting at midnight on Tuesday, and I hope that people take advantage of these prices because I'm losing money at ninety percent of these prices I've quoted. Perfect. Thank I'm, you. Mate. I want to throw one thing All in right. there. Uh, and that is if there's a ton of phone calls and, and they go to voicemail, you are personally going to call all of these people back? Oh, he can't He can't hear you, mate, because you're oh. coming through my headphones. Uh, Seth, you still there? I'm here. So Michael said, if you get a ton of phone calls come through at midnight and they leave you a ton of voicemails, are you going to personally call them all back? Yes, think, I am. Oh, I was just about to say think carefully, but you've already said it. Definitely. I'm going to call everybody back. Oh, God. You just turned into a call center. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. That's fine. All right. Thanks, Seth. Appreciate you, mate. All right, guys. See you later. See you soon. Bye. Over to you, Michael. So, so guys, this has been a whole lot of fun. Uh, I've lost my screen here for some reason, Adam. I, I hope. Can you still see me? I can still see you, yep. Okay, so I hope everybody else can too. But uh, a lot of fun. There's some great deals. I mean, great deals there. Uh, maybe I'll take advantage of one. I'm certainly going to give Seth a call about that, uh, that one watch. But anyway, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, stay safe, and remain in it to win it. Adam, over to you. But ba ba Bye. <laughs> See ya. Bye. <laughs>